banking blackout. People trapped in elevators and buildings. They have activated the emergency command. The subway system is down. Ottawa is completely without power now. You gotta go to the bathroom and you can't even go nowhere. Hallelujah. Now, I want to share with you a vision that the Lord gave me recently uh, while in prayer. I was walking in a city. Now, I cannot describe, uh, you know, what city this was or in which city uh, this was. Uh, you know, I remember the most important part of this vision uh, was that there was a new type of looking planes. All right. I saw a new type of fighter jets. All right. And they were flying. Uh, everywhere I looked into the sky and there was a lot of planes all right and these are new looking planes you know uh, I, I I don't think uh, they're there you know f-35s or anything like that but they were very new type of uh, planes all right and they were flying uh, you know above and there was a lot of them all right uh, the next thing that I saw was that uh, you know the wings of this plane uh, was able to emit something something came out of the tail of this plane um, that shot into the communication uh, systems all right uh, was the, in this vision they look like the towers or they were looking like um, you know the power grids all right uh, so these planes were able to uh, you know release something from the tail of the plane that looked like a spider web or something but it, it was able to touch uh, the power grid system and the towers and immediately after that uh, there was a blackout all right and that blackout was followed by uh, you know people waking up and finding themselves in a camp all right uh, you know I don't know they saw it was an emergency situation uh, but everybody was in a camp and there were trucks and people were being loaded into these trucks all right and um and there was a group of people uh with the drones and you know there were drones flying i, I cannot tell you that immediately uh you know those uh you know the whatever weapon that these planes were using touched the power grid and the blackout took place the next thing i know is that the lights were back all right but everybody was surrounded up in concentration camps all right and you could not get out of these concentration camps and they were booking people and putting people uh in trucks based on the talents you have um or based based on um the skills that you have listen there's going to be an attack all right on the power grid system or the communication system i don't know and there's going to be something following that um in the line of uh emergency and people being put in camps and uh you know uh to the point where there's trucks ferrying people uh this is something serious so i'm asking all of you who are listening to this to pray about it pray about it uh pray for your family uh pray for this nation uh, now let us pray and look to the lord because he's faithful and he's able to keep us safe in the midst of anything that we go through as a nation. God bless you. Shalom. The United States is divided into three basic power grids. Uh, there's an eastern grid, a western grid, and the Texas grid. And the one that is most protected uh, from being interfered with is actually the Texas grid in terms of its physical abilities, its physical attributes. Uh, but if one of the other grids, the eastern grid or the western grid, were affected by a concentrated cyber attack or a physical attack or both at the same time, the consequences could potentially be catastrophic. And what you would see is something that would have a cascading effect, not only through the infrastructure, but also for society at large.